Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the IQ software by Corsair onto a MacBook. Currently, I'm using a 2018 MacBook, I think Pro, something along those lines. It's my fiance's laptop, um, but I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very not hard. Uh, so first things first, obviously, you want to pull this up. I'll have a link down in the description below, obviously. This is the uh, website on Corsair where you can actually download the software to install it. So obviously you want to go down to where it says download now, click the download. That's going to pop into our download bin. You can exit out of that once it's in our bin. Minimize this and then obviously wait for it to download. Now this should work with the presets, um, I don't really know too much about the Mac version. I'm still working with it. Um, but if you have any questions, I will look on forums, etc., and try to help you the best that I can and whatnot. So the file has finally installed. So it's going to say IQ 3.38.61. That's the latest update. Uh, Release.dng. That's just the type file type. And we want to click it open. And once it's open, it's going to bring up this box. And it's verifying the installation is safe to install essentially onto the MacBook. This is basically what it's doing. And it's also um, unpackaging what the file is. Um, so obviously, I know it's safe. Uh, so, right there, it actually. It's right there. So this is the IQ pink. It made a shortcut already, and we're gonna click it. It's gonna say "Welcome to Corsair Software." Um, okay, continue. This is just a license agreement. Continue. Read license. Agree. Uh, this will take how much space it on your computer? 736 megabytes. Click install, continue installation, uh, use password, oh, I thought we're going to try this, you can use fingerprint ID, I'm just going to use password because I'm not sure, okay, it was that, that's just allowing your firewall to proceed with the installation, that's all that is, um, most of the time on Windows you'll see that they don't have that step, it's more of a permissions where you say yes or no, and it voids typing in a password. MacBook is a little different. So right now it's just writing the files, creating the files, and putting them in a file storage onto the hard drive. And this is going to take a hot minute. Okay, so once the software is installed, downloaded, it will make an icon down your heart, hot bar, and it will actually launch the program. Uh, Let's see what this is. System extension blocked. A program tried to load new system extensions side by Corsair Memory Inc. If you want to enable these extensions, open security privacy. Okay, so we're going to do that. And... Is there an option for never? Cancel. Man, that's pretty cool. <sighs> oh, wow. So we just allowed permission, I'm assuming, for that. From what I can tell, at least. We can ignore that, though. Okay, uh, so just to show you, as of right now, it doesn't detect any devices, and that's because that there are none hooked up. Uh, I'm actually going to pull out my iPhone here to show you something, because I don't have any cameras at the moment. So right here is an adapter. You're going to need this if you're using this type of MacBook book and newer. It's a, I believe this is referred to as a speed charge lightning charge adapt or end to a USB end because this uh, MacBook has no USBs. It's all of those lightning charge ports 
on the side. So there's two there and then two on this side. And I just have it hooked up into a $5 like USB extension. Uh, so what we're gonna do is take our Void Pros that are sitting up here, take that and plug it into this guy over here. Pawn yonder in the back. And if you if I can put it in the right way, of course. Oh, So there's no light on because the headset's not on, so don't worry. And it's also still installing the like window drivers essentially, but Mac version. Uh, it did detect it. Obviously it recognizes that it's off, so we're gonna turn these on. And it should kick on. And it kicks on. So I can end the video there. Um, so obviously this is default version. Um, I can put these on, I can hear stuff, I can go into settings, make a default preset. So in this case, we can go into here, uh, examples, for example, okay. Um, this is backgrounds of just the Windows version. So you got your instant lighting, you change it to red, obviously you can see. Um, your regular settings, what your battery percentage is, etc. There's a community tab as well. That's I think that's new because I don't remember that being there before. But we can go into the actual device, adjust what we need to auto auto audio repositioning. That's new. I'm gonna have to look into that. That will be interesting. If you'd like a video on that, let me know down in the comments, obviously, because that would be kind of cool to use. Wow. A lot has changed since I've lost my computer. Okay, instant lighting is on. Okay, that's just lighting. And then this is your pre-Q sets. We obviously can turn these off. And activate a custom preset like normal. So I can still do presets for you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know already, I've lost my gaming rig behind me. Uh, it, my computer is officially dead. So that's why I'm doing a Mac tutorial. Um, I'm in the works of possibly getting a new one, uh, in the near future here. Um, I'm probably either going to do buy a pre-build and then just put what I want in it kind of deal. It's the route I'm looking at least. I'm waiting for the GPU market to come back to where it's fucking normal and not skyrocketing because of Bitcoin, obviously. I always seem to have computer problems when Bitcoin's on the rise, but anyways, um, That's just an alert for macros. Sorry about that. Um, but that's basically a straightforward installation on how to install it on a Mac. Um, if you guys have any questions, opening system preferences, this is giving other permissions, it looks like. Click the lock to make changes. Uh, okay. So you want to click that lock, type in your code, obviously, and then you're able to actually make the change. I don't know what this is doing. And once it's checked, it should be active and have the permissions allowed to do so. And then lock it and then bam. Uh, this is the course air folder that it created probably in documents somewhere, question mark. Oh, there it is. So it made a folder in applications essentially. Uh, but we can go here, rename, 
Uh, we can red tag it. Use password. I hate this password thing. Monkey. Um, compress, duplicate, make alliance. Clean. I think we can move it down into here though, like so. So we don't have to get through the folder. It's just here. This is just saying click restart to finish up over software installation you're obviously going to click restart i don't want to do that because i'm in mid recording obviously but that's what i'm going to do next once it restarts it will have all the settings applied to that software applied you're right back if you guys have any questions obviously leave them down in the comments um if you guys want more tutorials like this for this version of a of operating system for the software let me know also let me know if you want me to give a tutorial on that uh new um, auto feature, audio surround customization. Um, cause that looks interesting. So I'm going to have to check that out. Thank you for watching. Of course, thanks for your support. And if you have any pre-build recommendations, leave them down in the comments as well. Cause I'm on the search for a new build. With that said, I will see you guys next video.